just be beautiful. As the sun sets on our day, this late December day, temperatures are cooling off into the evening rather quickly. And thanks again for joining us right here on Valley News Live. After the snow has moved through this morning's low temperature, not as cold as I suspected, because we kept those clouds and the flurries around all night long, that gave us a reprieve from the bite that we'll feel in the air tonight. Right now, we have cooled all the way down to 6 degrees already. Feels like 9 below thanks to a 12-mile-per-hour wind that do point down at, in the negative values at this time. And the temperature will follow suit over the next few hours. And as we take a look in Grand Forks, it's 5 degrees on the thermometer. Wind from the west at 9 miles per hour. Partly cloudy skies, 1 whole degree in Langdon. Fives for Jamestown, Valley City, Devil's Lake, Oaks at 7. Off to the east of the Red River, we generally have mid-single-digit readings. Three in Wadena, three in Thief River Falls, and Roseau as well, with Crookston at 5 degrees. Factor in the wind, and almost all areas have wind chills down below zero at this time. In fact, in the teens below zero, in the Cheyenne River Basin right now, and in Langdon, it feels like 14 below zero. It's a chilly evening out there, and here is a look at the satellite. The clear skies, they're holding strong. There are clouds out in the western and central portion of the Dakotas, and if they would move over, it would really slow our rate of cooling and actually add to some warmth in the lower atmosphere. Let's see what your hour-by-hour -hour forecast has to say as we head outdoors this evening. First and foremost, it looks like we stay mostly clear and temperatures really rocketing down But between now and 10 o'clock. Temperatures and wind chills will be between 10 and 20 below for the uh, wind chills and air temperatures in the teens below zero. And I actually believe out here where we have the one foot of snow from parts of Stutzman County and in through Griggs County all the way up through the Pembina Gorge, well, we'll see some temperatures there approaching that 18 below category. It's going to be ear split and chilly out there to start your weekend. But notice that wind direction, a subtle shift to the south. Notice the clouds out here. That's a warm front. And watch what happens on your Saturday. The clouds spread in, and with that will be a chance. Anywhere along this zone, as warm air tries to run in over the top of this colder air, could kick off a few flurries of snow. So watch for that. Midday temperatures in the teens out there. And we will rise once the warm front pushes through into the upper teens and low 20s south and west of Fargo up to the north and east. A lot of low to mid teens for your afternoon and the wind. Well, it'll be a little bit strong, 10 to 15 miles per hour. So the thermometer might say low 20s to mid 20s by the time we get to the evening, but it won't feel all that warm. Again, a wind chilly evening with more clouds, though, on our Saturday night. Sunday morning will not be nearly this cold. Saturday morning, 10 degrees below zero. Just a very chilly start to our day out there. And very clear skies. A few clouds mixing in late as that warm front approaches. 14 degrees. Can't rule out an isolated flurry along that boundary, but I'm not putting any probability of measurable precipitation into our forecast. 19 for your drive home from wherever your weekend takes you. Your hometown forecast. Temperatures generally in the low to mid-20s across southeast North Dakota. A cold and breezy day with winds around 15 miles per hour. Low 20s for most of Lakes Country till you get into the Red River Valley. We'll see temperatures in the Northland around those mid to upper teens, a few near 20 in Crookston. Now, as we look into Grand Forks tomorrow, 20, 16 Langdon, 19 Candu, and here is a look at this gorgeous setting sun. Again, this one taken in Comstock. Tiffany Quality capturing another glorious moment in the North Dakota and Minnesota sky. Here is a look at your planning forecast. Hey, that's a little better start. No negative reading in front of that Sunday morning temperature. 13 degrees, 25 with a chance of flakes. On Sunday, very light, if any, accumulation. Now, heading into next week, I want to make note of a couple of things. Mild temperatures through midweek, but almost a daily chance of snowfall Tuesday, Wednesday, and then as we head into Christmas Eve and Christmas Day for Thursday and Friday, a chance of snow and a little bit colder air makes its way in. It doesn't look like we get any one big punch of snow at this time. But the total amount could add up. You know how it gets yes, in December. Yes, of course, of course. It doesn't go too far once it lands on our lawns. And it's amazing that Christmas is on your planner. All <laughs> it, it just came so quickly. It is that time. So if you're traveling, you know, yeah. we'll keep you informed of the forecast. Travel safe and uh, arrive in and one safely piece. as well. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Hutch. All right. If you